Hello viewers, this is Campus File with Development Platform. This is where we celebrate achievements in campuses, promote your activities and unveil notable potentials in tertiary institutions world over. Today on the program we have two schools in focus. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic Lafia and Ashara State and the Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, Nasest Makodi Benwi State. Let's get to know all that's happening in these institutions. I am Victor Emmanuel will be right back. Don't go away. The Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, NASES, is located in Nasme Barracks, North Bank Makodi, Benue State. It offers national diploma and higher national diploma courses in architectural technology, civil engineering, computer sciences, estate management and evaluation, public administration, mass communication, and microbiology. For further inquiries, call 0803-650-2129 or 0806-591-7504. NASA's, where discipline, knowledge and strength is our watchword. The Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, NASEST, first started as Institute of Technology and Environmental Studies, ITES. The name was later changed to Nigerian Army Institute of Technology and Environmental Studies, NITES, before it was renamed the Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, NASEST, in 2019. Brigadier General Habar Abdul Hamid is director of this institution. NASEST, that's a Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology for short. It's a school that uh, got to be established on 19th August 2019. Before the name Nasest, the institution was brought existence exactly in the year 2001 and the idea to come up with the institution was an idea brought out by the former commandant then of Nigerian Army School of Military Engineering, that is NASME. And the reason for coming off with this uh, institution was um, NASME as a Nigerian Army, Army Military School of Engineering they have enough structures, equipments and what you have to cater for courses. So he found that uh, those uh, structures and equipment were underutilized. Therefore, what could they do to maximize the use of the place? So he decided to exploit the opportunity by contacting National Board for Technical Education to allow them offer programs that will lead to the award of national diploma and higher national diploma. And uh, on meeting the leadership then of the army headquarters, he was given the go ahead and the uh, Institute of Technology and Environmental Studies came up, that is ITES. Then later it was named NITES, that is Nigerian Army Institute of Technology and Environmental Studies. So it was in that 2019, then with uh, some reshuplements, the college was now shifted to be administered by the Nigerian Army Education Corp for professional touch. So the college was then renamed NASES, that's Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, under the supervision of NICET, Nigerian Army School.
School of Environmental Science and Technology. That is NICET. The journey so far with the rector of this college is a progressive one, building up on what he had met on assuming affairs. All these he does in line and vision of the chief of army staff. I made the school on course and uh, I am building on that course the school was built for the far force it was built. We always tilt whatever we do in support of the chief of army staff's vision. The chief of army staff has a vision and uh, we support that vision. So whatever we do in, is in support of the chief of army staff's uh, vision. So we are on course. The aim of this school is to produce mid-level manpower in the area of technical and vocational education that will service the demand of the Nigerian army and by extension that of the civil society for national development. With no discrimination for individuals, NASEST admits and employs both military personnel and civilians to help in its daily and optimal operations. This has made it a unique community, running smoothly with no issues at all. The college is a polytechnic of Nigerian army by function and by what we offer here. It's a full-fledged polytechnic. So, our admission is often to both the military and the civil society. With the mantra of the Executive Secretary of the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, Skills Not Degrees, NASEST has keyed into these as it lays more emphasis on practical abilities and technical education. And we are refocusing NBTE to skills development because this is what is going to save this country from socio-economic crisis we are facing today, that the Nigerian youth should be given skills so that we can meet the needs of our industries, the needs of the current infrastructural interventions of government, and even export skills to outside Africa and outside, you know, to Europe and the Middle East and uh, other countries of Asia. This is the vision we have set for ourselves, and we hope in the next coming years, few years, we should be able to turn around the fortunes of the MBTE. One thing that stands NASA's out amongst many other institutions is the fact that as a federal institution, it has never gone on strike and it has maintained its academic calendar and has an effective e-learning platform. NASA's is unique in that for the first 17 years, the college was established. We have never had a strike is continuously giving the respect to the calendar and giving the desired education. And uh, from inception, nurses then as ITS and ITS to nurses today, the online schooling system was embraced. And uh, that is why the pandemic of uh, this coronavirus issue did not affect the academic activities in nurses, necessarily speaking. And um, since then, our students graduate as at Wendu for that past 15 years. In order to keep up with global trends and best practices, NASES is having to always train its staff to be capable and relevant in their different fields of work. You have to train and retrain your staff. The relevancy, current relevancy of your staff determines the success of the whole thing you do. If they are capable with the capacity of what they're supposed to deliver, I think we are good to go to regard to welfare. So nurses does not job with training, workshop, seminars that has to do with capacity of individual lecturer and administrators in the school. Another training was organized for all the nurses to both teaching and non-teaching. This include how to teach, how to manage class, all what is needed honestly for a lecturer to do to succeed. 
the package was given to them. In NASA's, information communication technology is prevalent. This is evident in its academic processes, registrations, teachings and evaluations, which are done online. At NASA's, virtually everything out for the students are online. That's computer-based. From application, that's admission, application form is online. Registration is online, teaching payment is online, clearance, documentation, teaching and evaluation. We also emphasize on online. Only now that peace is returning, we say, okay, lecturers can decide to also complement with, uh, especially during revision, with a uh, practical aspect as per the uh, non-online teaching. But you have valuation also is online. The students will uh, also allow them to to, to, to assess the individual lecturers. So, and we are really making headway. The lecturer will not know. And even us, me, as a rector, we are very often, we told the student they should please assist us because if you are not criticized, you will not know whether you are doing very well or not. You need critics. You need people that, uh, and criticism is not condemnation. It is also as somehow we see critics as a sort of something. If you don't have critics, you will not know whether you are forging ahead or not. The challenges facing this study of learning is the inadequate resources, structures, infrastructures, and the equipment available to staff and students. We have problem of structural and infrastructural issues. We also have problem of um, equipments. Being a polytechnic, you know, our courses are more to do with the technology and the, we need technical equipment. So that's the area that uh, I would say these two challenges are the real challenges that I may say something about. But other challenges are challenges that uh, we don't allow them to derail us. And even these ones. We are still managing using the best of our ability what we have, but um, you know there is population increase, and uh, we are co-located with the Nigerian Army School of Military Engineering. In fact, they are our they are our parent body because the school came into existence from the the NASME in short. So there is population growth there, and there is population growth here. So the equipments and structures are becoming inadequate. However, the chief of army staff is making so many renovations and uh, expansion in some cases within the barrack. And uh, you know, we share some of the academic uh, uh, equipments and lecture rooms, what you have with the NASME. So there is effort by the chief making some renovations within the cantonment. However, it's not enough. It's reaching out to relevant bodies, ministries, departments, and agencies to see how can nurses be assisted with regard to development in terms of structures, replacement of obsolete equipment. Some of the equipment are very, very expensive. They are into hundreds of millions, especially in that uh, mechanical engineering and uh, this uh, environmental sciences. So we identified TED Fund, the Nigerian Army University View, they are enjoying that. So we felt NASA should also enjoy as uh, the Polytechnic of Nigerian Army. So the chief is making effort honestly in getting that uh, opportunity for NASA. The Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, NASEST, where discipline, knowledge, and strength matters. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, is located in Lafia, Nasrawa State. It offers national diploma and higher national diploma courses in accountancy, library and information sciences, business administration, computer science, tourism and leisure management, public administration, science laboratory technology, and many more. For further inquiries, please call 0808-874-6958. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, where success is achieved through knowledge. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic Lafia, Nasara State, formerly known as Nasara State Polytechnic. 
The institution was established in year 2000, but full academic activities commenced in the year 2001. In a bid to immortalize the founding father of the state, Isa Mustafa Agwe the I, the school was renamed after him by an act signed into law in 2019. Justin Okotsu is the rector of this institution. The Isa Mustafa Agwe the I Lafia was formerly Nasarawa State Polytechnic, established in the year 2000 by the then, uh, by His Excellency the then Executive Governor of Nasara State, uh, His Excellency Abdullahi Adamu, a now serving senator. Uh, the institution was established in the year uh, 2000, but uh, academic activities commenced fully in the year 2001 with uh, late uh, Alaji Mustafa Onoku as the first rector of the institution. And in the year 2019, the name Isa Mustafa, uh, the name Nasara State Polytechnic was changed to Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first Polytechnic Lafia. The efforts made by the proprietor of this institution, Governor Abdullahi Suli, who is an engineer and takes special interest in technical education and the polytechnic, has changed its path to be more focused in vocational and technical education. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic Lafia, stands out in the sea of polytechnics in Nigeria with the different technical equipment available to its students to learn. What makes Isa Mustafa Agwe the first polytechnic tick is one, Isa Mustafa Agwe the first polytechnic proprietor, the governor is an engineer. Our Amiabu governor, engineer E. E. Suli, is an engineer, so he knows about the technical, vocational and technical education. And technical education is his pet project, is his baby. He's always when he goes for political things, he must find a way to bring technical education into it. And what makes this polytechnic unique is this polytechnic was established almost 21 years ago and the technical, vocational and technical aspect of it did not really come strongly on like that. But, uh, under the watch of our governor, engineer A. A. Sule, within just a period of two years, he's able to change the narrative. The challenges facing the educational system in Nigeria is one that can be handled, with the polytechnic system focusing on vocational education and skills, not degrees. The future of Nigeria and others is skill, uh, skill acquisition. And so I, I have, I believe in Nigeria, and I know that very soon the government will do what is expected of them and everything will be okay. The mantra of the new ES is not personal to him. Almost all polytechnics, especially my polytechnic, Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, Lafia, is, is, this is our motto, technical education, uh, 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 vocational training, hands-on, this is what you are, we are doing. And in line with that, we have a very vibrant uh, uh, um, entrepreneurship uh, center. We have all the engineering equipment. Uh, uh, you may recall that he's, uh, Mr. President visited our state a few weeks ago. He came to commission some projects and one of the pro projects commissioned by, by Mr. President was a skill, is a, a skill, a vocational skill acquisition center in our own land and we use that for our students and everything. So we are into school. Skill acquisition is our focus. Funding is a major challenge facing this institution. Though the state government has always intervened, but there's more funds desired by this institution to help in its full and optimal operations. Nasara State is a civil service state. We don't have uh, much revenue generating, uh, but with the little we have in the state, the government is always, I think about 30% uh, of, the, of the budget is to education. But still, you know, we still need more, 
more funding. That's one of the major challenges we, we have. In driving good academic planning, quality assurance and academic programs, the academic planning unit coordinates training programs, controls academic resources, plans academic programs and provides professional advice on academic issues. Dr. Dauda Ibrahim is the director of academic planning. We have six schools that run academic programs. One, the School of Administration and Business Studies. We have five programs run there. Now, I said five. I'm referring to the department that owns those programs now. But otherwise, in three of these departments, we have two, two programs. ND, HND, ND, HND, ND, HND. Accountancy, business administration, and uh, uh, public administration. Then it's in that department, again, we'll have social development and we'll have local government studies. Now, these two I have mentioned later, we we'll have only national diploma programs around there. But the first three, both national and higher national diploma, which we had accreditation of recent uh, by the MBTE to run. Then if you go to the School of Science and Technology, we also have five departments there. Out of these five, three also run both ND and HND. In fact, we have a department that has two HND programs, different HND programs running under it. That's the Science Laboratory Technology. We have HND Macrobiology Specialization, we have HND Biochemistry Specialization, and then we have the ND Science Laboratory Technology. Uh, we have in computer science, we have HND and ND. Then in, in leisure and tourism, we also have HND and ND. And then hospitality management, mathematics and statistics, we have ND in. We have three engineering programs now, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and electrical engineering. These are the two programs. All we run them on the national diploma. We also have the School of Communication Technology. Under that, we have three departments. Uh, in this department, they all run national diploma. We have not started anything in HND yet, but we have just started in one, which uh, MBT has also given us the go ahead to, to, to comment. That is Library and Information Sciences. Uh, we have ND and then HND. In mass communication, we have just given approval to also run national diploma in mass communication. And also in that school, we have national diploma in office technology management, we call them OTM. Then the, the last school that I will mention is the School of uh, General Studies. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic life year, is an ICT and quality driven institution with competent lecturers, available e library with e learning in view, and the different learning facilities available to its staff and students. Mr. Sunday Nwokolo is the director of ICT, and Dr. Nuruddin Meilafia is the librarian. The ICT here in this polytechnic is like the hub of the polytechnic. So virtually everything we do is done online. Student registration, resort processing, payment, resort checking. Uh, in fact, presently now we're trying to even include the CBT. And uh, I think by next session we should be, we should be uh, implementing e-learning also. So I can say when it comes to academics and administration, I think this is the, uh, the our ICT is the hub of the administration. We have unique services that we are providing within and outside the community because of the innovative changes we brought to the system. Uh, we introduce online information services, we have customer profile services, we have customer engagement services. All these we are able to achieve because we subscribe to so many online specialized databases. In this library, we house all kinds and types of information resources that cut across all disciplines in this institution. We have premium text of information resources. We have access to varieties of online information resources. We subscribe to specialized databases. We have subscription of Science Direct, we have subscription of EBSCO Host, 
and Springer. We equally have access to other free online databases where students and researchers can access and download millions of ebooks free. And we provide free Wi Fi within and around the Polytechnic Library. Aside of this, what makes us unique is the library is fully automated. All our manual or traditional library operations, we are now converted to digital forms. You need not to come to this library before you can check or find out whether we have a particular title in our shelves. We provide online serial services, online circulation services, online reference services. All our physical copies, we converted the bibliographic details into machines. We call it retrospective conversion. With a focus in entrepreneurship development and the need to have its graduates skilled up to face the economic realities outside school, Dr. Safiya Sidi is the entrepreneurship coordinator of this institution. The essence of creating the Entrepreneurship Development Center is to create a mindset of entrepreneurship to students in tertiary institutions of learning. The federal government discovered that there is a disequilibrium between a labor market requirement and the essential skill acquired by our graduates. And there is a need for us to have a center across the tertiary institutions of learning to create an entrepreneurship mindset to the student so that at the end of their graduation, they should be able to have something doing. They should be able to be self-reliant. If you look at the compositions of the Nigerian population, you discover that youth are over 60% of their population. And the rate of unemployment is alarming. So there is need for us to inculcate a spirit of entrepreneurship to our students so that they can be self-reliant after graduation. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, keeps up with its major stakeholders and sells itself to the whole world through the Advancement and Linkages Office, which has Mr. Useni Paul as its director. The major aim of this office is to manage interactions between the institution and the other major stakeholders outside there. Because if you don't have a link between an institution and other people who are outside there, there won't be progress. There are major stakeholders that have one or two things to do in this institution. We are just coming from library. There are issues that we need to make friends outside with either our alumni relations people who have graduated here or those stakeholders who actually ensure that there was what? A name of institution establishment of this institution so that the vision that the institution was meant for will be actualized. Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, where success is achieved through knowledge. Yes, the schools we spotlighted were Isa Mustafa Agwe, the first polytechnic, Lafia Nasarawa State, and the Nigerian Army College of Environmental Science and Technology, Nasis Makodi Bainwe State. This is where we call it a wraps on the program today. Your school can also participate in this experience by taking notes of the contacts on your screen. You can also invite us for your professional media coverage, trainings, and ceremonies. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our social Social media handles. Until we come your way again, same time, same station. I am Victor Emmanuel.